Not even an hour in and the boy's taking a piss. <laughs> Another day, another vlog. We're starting this one off super early, guys. Um, again, in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but we are doing a nine day road trip. Down the southwest of England. Southwest of England yeah. to Cornwall, Devon, and yeah, and Bath. So it should be <laughs> really fun. That way, yeah. yeah, so we're really excited. We woke up super early. I think it's, it's 7 a.m. now. So excuse the tired faces, but we are headed first to Tesco to pick up a packet of water bottles um, so that we can just have them in case of an emergency in the car. It's always good to have water. Um, and then we're going to hit the road. Our first stop of the day is Stonehenge. Stonehenge. We both have never seen it. So this should be exciting. We're trying to go the free route, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> So while George is in the shop picking up some water bottles and some breakfast, I just wanted to hop on here because I don't know if I'm the only one in a relationship like this, but I'm sure many other girls can relate to this. Um, when it comes to like waking up for a trip, like I'm always up like an hour before I'm supposed to be. I'm super excited. I'm ready to go. And George literally stayed in bed. I brought him coffee. He stayed in bed for like up until like the last 15 minutes and we had to like load the car and finish packing and like just caused me so much stress but he's a very last minute man um, and it's hard to wake him up especially for early mornings but the funny thing is that uh, this past like two or three weeks I've been doing a ton of planning and I normally don't really like plan itineraries for trips because George and I usually when we travel it's just very go with the flow and like whatever we feel like doing that day and if there's a few sites we want to see we try to take them off but this time around I literally planned so much to do and see and I think he's in for a sorry surprise when he realizes that like most days we're waking up at like 6 a.m. and most times we don't get back to like 9 p.m. so long days but I'm really excited and what's cool for him which I was telling him yesterday is it would be so cool to have somebody just plan an epic trip for you and you every single day it's something new and you didn't know what, what to expect so like for George this whole trip he has no idea like I literally haven't really told him much like he knows snippets about like where we're going and like how long for but as far as like restaurants and like sites and surprises like he has no clue what's in store so that's really cool for him and I feel like this trip is gonna be super exciting for him um, but yeah this is a super exciting trip it is our first trip since lockdown and we love to travel so it's been really hard for us to be cooped inside for so long without any travel so super stoked for this trip um, it's gonna be a crazy jam-packed nine days so I'm probably gonna break it up into a few vlogs but yeah we'll check back in with you when we get to Stonehenge secure the goods Cheap. don't worry guys we brought our reusable water bottles I know that's kind of like counterintuitive but you need to stay hydrated when you're on a road trip <laughs> yeah, in case of emergency so so how do I always make a quick stop to see some sheep? We're almost at Stonehenge and we're trying to go like the freeway. So it's like some back route. But over there is actually Woodhenge, <laughs> which looks like a small version of it. But yeah, finally making it. It's about, I don't know, I think almost 9am or something. Okay, so as I said before, we're trying to do Stonehenge and see it for free, and so we'll have everything linked in our blog about parking and directions, but this is where we parked on Fargo Road. See the sign here, that's how you know you're in the right place. Not even an hour in and the boy's taking a piss. Feel good? So, we are finally walking towards the Stonehenge. So yeah, I did a bunch of research beforehand to try to find the free route. Because <laughs> tickets are like £29 a person. So, yeah, hopefully we can see just as good from this view. Yeah. It's all free. 
So hopefully the weather holds out. It's a little um, foggy this morning, but... Have an umbrella just in case. <laughs> yeah. So the Stonehenge is just over there and we just walked past these people raving. You guys, there's like so many hippies. <laughs> yeah. So apparently it's pretty crazy here during like summer solstice. Yeah, because they believe that aliens live around. Yeah, it's uh, pretty intense, but I don't know if you can hear the music, but yeah, it's pretty cool. The main entrance to Stonehenge is there, the free foot path is there. And there it is. We're actually really close. I didn't think the Stonehenge, like the free foot path would be this close, but, but yeah. I don't think you can hear the music, but over here, is where all those people were raving. And there's the boss. Yeah, look at that. Woo. So cool. In person. Yeah. It's pretty surreal. But yeah, it's cool, man. First time seeing this. Okay, so we just finished shooting tripods I'm glad there. Glad it's like a hoodie. It's cold. Yeah, it's getting kind of chilly, so we're putting our hoodies back on, and we just opened it up to the public. So now there's obviously tourists, but this is the free foot bath. That's where you pay thirty pound. So really, I mean, I don't think it makes too much sense to pay the money. I think right now, obviously, to support tourism and the economy, maybe we should have paid, but. We're cheap backpackers, <laughs> um, but yeah, super fun. Yeah, I think if you want to pay, it's good to support it, but we're only here for like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, and it's actually, it was supposed to rain, so maybe next time when it's a sunnier day, we'll come pay and yeah, actually sure. like, be able to get up close, because if you do pay, you get to go all the way up to the rocks, I believe, which is cool. Yeah, but now it's time to Now past. we have to go back to the hippie camper vans, which yeah. are over there. Tried to pull my camera out, but it was kind of sketchy, so I think we're just gonna walk through and smile. So the Stonehenge is there, and another reason why it's good to take, you know, like this free path in. Um, Look how cute. <laughs> Little baby one. Little lambs, huh? Yeah, so another good reason why it's uh, great to come this way in like the free version is because where we've parked, you don't have to get stuck in all this traffic, which is down here. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, but you can see like everyone over there just stops and <laughs> wants to get a look at Stonehenge or a picture. Pretty dangerous, but yeah. Mama's got some udders on her. <laughs> So we've made it to Shaftesbury. Shaftesbury, yeah. Second stop of the day to a place called Gold Hill. I'm gonna try to take Down some photos. Here. Super cute little village town. Gloomy day. Okay, so we made it to Gold Hill. Reminds me actually a lot of the Cotswolds, doesn't a it? Bit, yeah. So it reminds you of the Cotswolds. Cute little homes. The fog just rolled in, but you could see the countryside back there, which is kind of hard to see now. There's a path here. Now we're gonna go find some lunch. <laughs> this one's hungry. Well deserved. We shot for a really long time. Sometimes he's a good sport. Is <laughs> right? We've got two pounds. You want a donut? Shall we get one to share? Is that the biggest donut you've ever seen in your life? Mm. So, since the bakery had no seating, we had to eat in the car. But, but the best thing ever. <laughs> he actually Friggin bought it. Giant. You're such a loser. <laughs> Just kidding, you're not a loser. That's hey, the best decision you've made all week. <laughs> Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh my god. 
god. Is it even good? Mm. <laughs> Is oh. it really good? It's tasty, yeah. Oh, we made it, finally. Stop number three after about an hour's drive. We, we didn't want to bore you in the car there. We've made it to <laughs> Corf Castle. Castle. And it's just over the, these trees, which you can't really see, but we're gonna hike to a viewpoint to see it. <laughs> so we're hiking to the viewpoint to see it now from a view up top. Yeah. But it's just beyond these trees. You can kind of see it, yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but we'll show you when we get to the top. <laughs> George is always a good sport because he carries the camera bag, but I did buy him a new one that was way more comfortable than our old one, right? Uh, definitely. A million times, yeah. so. And if he ever gets tired, I do offer to hold it. Oh, hold that's it. That's not true. Yeah. <laughs> Once in a blue moon, I do. Yeah. But yeah, fun fact, when George and I first met, we carried huge backpacks because we were backpacking in Asia. And I, I carried, refused to I, let him carry mine. Bollocks, he I carry both. <laughs> he and wanted you to. you only carry yours across the border because you was like, no, I want to be seen carrying my bag. Okay. Okay, so basically we're a little behind on time today and the castle is here. The path to get up the hill kind of zigzags and like that's where we need to go. And then George... Walk up. George just wants to literally I'll, I'll, I'll cave his camera, own way. And I'll, you'll meet me there. No. Cool. I'm coming with you, but can we at least find the path over here? Oh my god. I'd also like to note that last time we hiked like this was in Laos, and we ended up going the entirely wrong way. But hey, I'm up for a little adventure. Oh, and two seconds later. He was right. We're here. Oh, right there. <laughs> Worth it. So, as a whole today, if you guys can't tell already, weather has not really been on our side, although it could be worse, it could be actually raining. It's just kind of misting, but the overall quality is kind of bad. We're still making the most of it. Um, there are some cows over there. We've got the castle right there, looking moody and eerie, and overall it's really pretty. We've got this whole field, my boy, and just one little kid over there running down the hill. But yeah, super, super pretty. Okay, it just started to rain and it's actually quite cold. We just finished taking photos. You guys can't really tell, but I have my dress on underneath <laughs> all these layers. <laughs> This is just like the reality of being um, an Instagrammer. Sometimes you have to wear the dress under all of your layers to make it work, but we got a good photo. We sat right here on this little um, gate, which overlooked, and now the fog's starting to come in again, so actually perfect timing. George and I are now headed to our Airbnb. We're gonna just drop off our luggage, kind of get situated because it is starting to rain, unfortunately. We are supposed to go to Old Harry Rocks um, on the Jurassic Coast this afternoon, or this evening, sorry, because it's already four. But it might be just pouring down rain, so we might not do it. Yeah. We're just gonna play things by ear, <laughs> see how things go, but if we go, we'll take you with us. If we don't, we will probably just get dinner and unpack. So yeah, <laughs> time to make our way down. Do you think we'll go down the steep way again or do you want to go? Uh, I'm not too fast. I mean, if the weather holds out, then sure. But if it's- It's starting to actually feel really like it's Like it's gonna Can't thunder, tell. then maybe not. All right. <laughs> All right, well, we'll check back in later, guys. So even though it's a bit cloudy, there's the ocean. We decided to skip going to the Airbnb and just go straight to dinner because we were getting hungry. We have this beautiful harbor, some sheepies over there, Food. and George <laughs> here at the table. Everything's like order online now. So we're at the Banks Arms Country Inn. Yeah. Dinner. They changed all of their car park to like outdoor seating, so everyone's sitting out here to eat. Just gonna get some food and drink and then check out the coast. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm all beanied up. I'll show you what I look like right now.
in my beanie because it's really cold and it's probably gonna start raining, so I have to dress. Get ready to dress normal. I feel like I want a fish and chip. So we're just about to order food. However, if we look over there, you can sort of see the rain coming in. <laughs> so hopefully it stays where it is and not on my head. I was dressed like this. Is it good? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's a strong one. <laughs> IPAs, baby. <laughs> got the beers, got some salad, some chips. My boy's happy. Mm. Time to grill out. So we finally made it to Old Harry's Rock and we beat the weather. It's gonna get dark in an hour so we have to be kind of quick but man this place is beautiful. is officially amazing highly recommend even on a cloudy day it's still beautiful there's more around the corner I'm gonna go follow George now he found another really awesome viewpoint so honestly when you come here there's just so many places where you can get really cool photos and it's absolutely stunning how dramatic the cliffs are but Okay, I'm not here to make fun of George, but you guys, poor thing, he's so afraid of heights. Like, so afraid. We just took some pictures, like, next to the rocks, and we were maybe like three or four feet away from the cliff, but he kept flipping out. He's like, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. So we just decided to stop taking pictures, because he literally was having, like, a panic attack. I think he's like, I think we're both a little afraid of heights. Honestly, we both are, but... I'm a little less fearful than he. It's very scared. Bless. Okay, guys. <laughs> we are ending out today's vlog. Day one is finished. Day one of our road trip is complete. And George, my sweet man, he was overprotective, a little scared of me being close to the edge. Go stop running around. The maniac. But honestly, what are your thoughts of Old Terry Rocks? Yeah, it's pretty, man. It's, it's nearly 8 o'clock. It's still light out, but we're hoping to make it to the car before it gets too dark. Yeah. We are going to go back to our Airbnb, get some sleep for another early day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. But That's it. we'll catch you tomorrow for the next <laughs> vlog day of our road trip. So stay tuned. <laughs> See ya.